Good morning and welcome to today's verse. To God be the glory. What a great day it is today as we begin a new week in the Word of God. Today's verse comes to us from 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 11. And it says this, For no other foundation can anyone lay than that which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Let me ask you a question. What is your life built on? What is the very foundation of your life? If you're building a house or any structure, you must have the proper foundation, a solid foundation, in order for that building to stand. Now, you you, you can have a foundation that has not been properly cured or properly set up. You can build upon that. And yes, the house may look okay initially, but over time, it's going to develop cracks in the walls and the ceiling and on the outside of it. It has to have a solid foundation. And the only foundation uh, for us to be acceptable before God is that of Jesus Christ himself. For all other foundations, as the songwriter says, is but sinking sand. They cannot stand up to the storms of life. No person, no matter who he is, can lay a foundation other than that of Jesus Christ that will last. For all other foundations will crumble and be destroyed. What does it mean that Christ is the only foundation? Well, it means that Christ himself, the person, his person, is the only foundation upon which we can build our lives. It means that his teaching and the doctrine of Christ is the only foundation upon which we can build our lives. No, you know, this false doctrine that is introduced by all these false teachers that have made their way into the church, seeking to line their pockets with your money will not last. Sooner or later, they will be exposed. And especially if you start reading your Bible, you know, there's so many studies out there that say that Christians today do not read their Bible, that some of them have never read their Bible, that we just are ignorant when it comes to the word of God. Now, with all the advancements that we have in technology today, people would rather listen to and watch a sermon or a teaching on the Bible as opposed to reading the Bible for themselves. May we be like the Bereans in Paul's day in Acts chapter 17, verse 11, where they readily received the word of God, but they searched the scriptures daily to see if these things were so. I mean, they checked it against what they heard. They checked it against the word of God, the scriptures, to make sure that what they heard or what they were receiving was true. So let us be like the Bereans, Search the scriptures daily to see if these things are so. Don't just accept things on face value. Jesus Christ, his person, his teaching, his doctrine is the only foundation upon which our lives and the church will be able to stand in these last wicked and evil days. And they will stand. To God be the glory for the great things he has done. I pray that you would meditate upon this verse, that it would be a word of encouragement to you as you go throughout your day. I pray that you would have a great day, have a safe day, and then tune in again tomorrow. Yeah, as we consider today's verse. Amen.